Hello, what does some wood flowers, a canvas, and paint have in common? Come with me and find out. Let's talk some colors. So we are going to be doing a pearl based uh, pour and I have a variety of colors that I'm going to be using. Um, for my pearl base I'm using a Winston & Newton pale uh, green pale olive. For my puddle paints I have a um, Amsterdam Naples yellow, deep yellow, and I've added some titanium white to that. Uh, for the puddle also is the Winston Newton phthalo green. Um, this has a little bit of Amsterdam black into it to deepen it a little bit. I also have um, a uh, Creative Inspirations Burnt Sienna and also with a little bit of Amsterdam Black. This is a Titanium White. This is a Soho Crimson, I want to say. I'm sorry, this was a previously made one. Crimson color. And then I also am going to be using a leftover Pearl Base um, that's also an olive green um, and I this was mixed with several other colors so unfortunately I do not know the actual color of that so um, what we're going to do sorry let me get some, rid of some of these lids out of the way um, I'm also going to be working, uh, I, just for the sake of being able to see on the screen, I have positioned my 16 by 20 um, in landscape mode. Um, I really want the flow to be, um, the 20 inches to be the long 16 width, but it would not fit in my screen, so I'm going to be tilting left to right, but um, when it's all said and done, I want it to be oriented this way. Also, you will notice that I did go ahead and I took uh, the Winston Newton uh, Pale Olive and I already painted the sides. That's because the pearl base is very thin and a lot of times it will show through to the white canvas, so went ahead and did that. So the first step we're going to do is I'm going to add, I don't want a lot of this, I want more of the olive green, but I wanted to have a little bit of that in there. And I'm going to tilt most of this off. That off to the side. We're trying to get a real thin consistency here. We're working with very thin paints. This 
see that I'm going to just touch this up so that make sure it runs. Sometimes the paint does not like to run over. I'm just pretty much trying to get most of that paint off. Okay. Now we'll move on to our puddle paints. Um, I'm going to just start, actually I think I'm going to start with the, pale deep yellow. Followed by green. We may tilt this first um, and see where we end up. before I use any of the other puddle paints. And what I'm trying to get here is a thin enough layer where it's acting or reacting with the pearl base and you'll start seeing some of that happening here also have some squiggly lines that I'm not really liking so to torch this. And you'll see that it's already starting to pop up these pearl cells that that's what we're looking for. From here I'm going to take my paints and start meddling around. From here, I'll start playing around with some of those puddle paints, tilting and adding some paint. So I'll let you go ahead and watch, um, and then I'll come back for the next steps.
I'm using the brown to go in here and make some branches. And then you'll also see me use the white and the crimson pull um, puddle on top of each other and I'll blow out little flowers. Um, and you'll see when we transition into the next part, those get lost, but no worries, uh, we can always fix that. Welcome back. This is the finished dry version of the first part on the painting. And you'll notice where I have the maroon type flowers. Um, the pearl paints really ate that up a lot. And so I ended up having to go back in and I used a balloon to push paint down. These aren't going to be seen on the final product, but I wanted to map or have some ability to have um, a maroon color in the background in case you could see it through the flowers that we're now going to apply. So I'm going to video um, gluing some of these um, wooden flowers that I showed you before that we had already dyed. And I have some um, leaves as well. And we're going to glue those on here and then I will go back over with some brown paint to make the stems. So I'll show you a little bit of that and, and then we'll just um, show you the end product. And there you have the finished product. I took some Posca pens and put some uh, further detail in there. I think it turned out great. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit the like button. You all have a good day.